3D printing a nice Odin Viking bust with my Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra 3D printer. Using JO standard resin with a little bit of JO ABS resin mixed in, which I find is very good as it gives it good flexibility and strength. This resin has been sat in here for weeks because I haven't been printing. So we'll just give it a stir up and hopefully everything prints okay. Make sure everything is thoroughly mixed so we don't have any problems because like I said the resin that was in the vat has been standing for a few weeks. JO ABS solid black using it now because the expiry date is in August even though I only purchased it the other week. So when you buy in resin particularly on eBay make sure it doesn't have a low expiry date like I just had because it's a bit of a pain because I'm printing stuff I don't really need to just to use the resin. That should be okay. Right, we'll close the lid now and we'll send a file to the printer and see what happens. Raise the sails on the icy tide Steel in hand where the gods reside Oh, inside, since the blood-stained ground Falha calls where the brave are bound Loading the file up in the slicer, in this case I'm using just the standard version of Chichu Box which I find is okay for the basic needs. If you have any questions about my settings etc or you have any advice for me please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. This file is already pre-supported and hollowed out so I didn't have to go through that I just loaded it up into the slicer and sent it to the printer and as you will see later in the video it printed really well. With the northern light Halls of gold Where the fallen feast Odin's gaze Blesses man and beast Forge the path With fire and stone Under the hammer We're never alone Shields of honor Axes swing Vikings roar As the battle rings plate now being lowered into the vat to start the Odin print. Just make sure these are tight because I got an habit of forgetting.
Right, I'll close the lid and we'll come back later and check on it. Quick check to see where we are. We'll pause the print. Just to make sure it's stuck to the plate. Yep, everything is looking good, thankfully. So we'll crack on with it. Leave it now until the print is finished and we'll come back later. A quick check at 64%, everything printing perfectly. With the Viking Odin bust. The print is just finished. Turn to home. Just let it drip now for the time being, give it about half hour to get most of the resin off. Printed fine. One thing I hate about this printer is these build plates are a bloody nightmare to keep clean. Just lightly rub the plate over with your hand to make sure there's no debris stuck on there because the last thing you want is the next print going through the FEP sheet or PFA sheet I should say in this case. Right, we'll give it a wash for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Probably a bit overkill, but never mind. If you move away from water wash resin like I did, one of the best things I bought was this Mercury 3 Plus. It is very convenient and it doesn't take up much space, well recommended. And this was purchased out of my own money, not sponsored. Printed really well on my Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra in the background using J.O. Standard Resin with a bit of J.O. ABS Resin mixed in. Really good detail, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. I need to get a camera with manual focus in all honesty, but this will have to do for the time being. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you liked the video or a dislike if you didn't and please subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers and the people who take the time to leave a like and a comment. Thanks, I really appreciate it. See you on the next one.